Hi, uh, this is a video about the uh, me flying the Prandle wing. Um, I did a piece to camera on the slope and I realised that I hadn't got my microphone switched on. So I thought I'd do it in the peace and quiet of my cabin. Um, so Prandle wing, couple, just a couple of little important things. I found the sweet spot with my C of G is going to be um, 77 millimetres back from the tip of this nose 77 millimeters just worked out just for me on this particular glider worked out fine with the control throws i found that you don't need masses of elevator um, you don't need masses of um, aileron in fact actually i found at about sort of 10 or 12 millimeters up and down on elevator and aileron has worked really well now the one tip i would say for this particular glider is when you find the sweet spot the trim speed um, you'll find it just comes into its own um, and it, it's very much it's very stable at very uh, a very specific speed and you'll see with this uh, video that once i get it dialed in it really is it, it flies like it's on like it's got vertical surfaces um, but yeah really pleased with it I think the next thing I'm going to explore is going to be slowly adding some exponential with it and I've got a couple of little tricks I want to try with the um, elevons but at the moment um, it's just getting better and better and I think personally I think it took me a while to get my uh, head around the stick movements and actually just relaxing so if you start flying your Prandle wing and it's really, really Dutch rolly, I know this sounds really simple, but actually try and relax and you'll find that actually the glider will sort itself out. Anyway, enjoy the video. Oh, and uh, enjoy the landing.
Oh, nice step there, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Just call me Twinkle Toes. <laughs>